Hi guys. Well, my trip into springtime at Fish Eating Creek has come to an end and I am back. And uh, back to winter time here in this undisclosed swamp here on this collapsing planet. And uh, we have stumbled in to Friday, February 5th. 2021 so uh, Friday as you probably know by now is when I bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply go over there and check in with mongabay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over at mongabay.com to find out what has really been going on on the planet while the world is distracted by distractions and we're going to start out as we so often do in Brazil so let's get this the snapshot of Brazil here uh, heading deeper into 2021 uh, in case you're unaware of any of this <clears throat> Brazil cuts agent Brazil guts doesn't just cut it guts environmental agencies sabotaging environmental protection in the Amazon. A new report documents draconian budget cuts to Brazilian environmental monitoring and firefighting of 9.8% in 2020 and already 27.4%. 274 percent uh, cuts in environmental budgets in the Bozo Nero administration in the first month of this year. Analysts say uh, they were inflicted by the Bozo Nero administration in quote, a clear policy for dismantling national environmental policies, close quote. Brazil's environmental agencies, don't you love that uh, contradiction in terms, the oxymoron of 2021, Brazil's environmental agencies under Bozo Nero have been subjected to nearly 600 administrative and rule changes invoked by presidential executive orders and resulting in massive environmental deregulation. Under Bozo Nero, deforestation in Brazil has soared with an increase of 34% in the last two years, even as capacity to punish environmental criminals fell sharply due to funding shortages. Fines imposed for illegal deforestation, instead of rising, during this Amazon environmental crime wave fell by 42% from 2019 to 2020. Faced with Bozo Nero's gutting of environmental agencies and protections, two indigenous leaders have asked the International Criminal Court in The Hague to investigate Bozo Nero for crimes against humanity, not to mention crimes against the planet. And now, of course, you know, with Donald Trump out of office, uh, Bozo Nero has become the undisputed uh, planet criminal, uh, planet side, planet eater criminal on Earth. Uh, he is the undisputed king of declaring war on this planet uh, but anyway we don't have to worry because next to that story about Bozo Nero we have our new hero Joe Biden bipartisan group recommends how Joe Biden can help save the Amazon all right Joe Biden uh, has on his little red cape, and Joe Biden is going to save the Amazon from Bozo Nero. There you go. Uh, you know, I love the punchline 
in Manga Bay. Okay, uh, let's just go back to the to the top of the Rolodex, as it were. Let's go over looking at the border between Thailand and Myanmar. Uh, for border crossing Thai tigers, the forest on the other side isn't so green. Yes, I didn't... I, why did I think Thailand was an island? Anyway, uh, I guess tigers can still walk and I, and I actually didn't realize there were any tigers left in Thailand. I thought Thailand was an island with no tigers left, but I guess there's still a handful of them left in mainland Thailand. But of course, uh, every time they cross the border into Myanmar, they pretty much get shot. Uh, yes. Anyway. Uh... Okay, so last week, you know, we went through the list of all of these uh, various of our fellow Earthlings uh, that are still hanging on by a thread in Sumatra, just talking about how pretty much every single one of our fellow Earthlings in Sumatra is heading into oblivion. Uh, but don't worry, not only do we have omens for Sumatran orangutans, but we have some optimism. Some optimism for Sumatra's orangutans, yes. I guess Joe Biden is going to save the Sumatran orangutan as soon as he finishes saving the uh, Amazon rainforest. Maybe he's going to put uh, masks on the orangutans to save them. Maybe they're taking the 100-day mask challenge, but I need to remember what channel I'm on here. Yes. Uh, the Sumatran orangutan is a lowland species that has had to adapt to life among the Indonesian island's highlands as it has already lost its favored habitat to an array of forces. From forest degradation to new road projects, plus the trafficking of young ones to be sold as pets, this great ape is increasingly in trouble. Yes, certainly sounds like all sorts of grounds for optimism to me. Well, don't know how optimistic we are here. Let's go down to Brazil's Cerrado, where it is a race against time to save the snakes and lizards of Brazil's Cerrado. Yes. Uh, once thought of as a wasteland, the Cerrado, one of the world's most biodiverse savannas, uh, include 208 snake species, 120 lizards, seven turtles, I can't believe there's only seven turtle species in the Cerrado, and four crocodile species. Uh, and I guess we can pretty much kiss them all goodbye. Kiss goodbye all of the reptiles of the Cerrado. Uh, so what is their YouTube video of the week? Oh, it's on that crawdad that I talked, you know, that cloned crawdad taking over the planet. Uh, okay, so let's get back to Joe Biden saving the planet. And this is an article about... Uh, Michael Regan, which is President Biden's choice for the head of the EPA. One of the issues is he's going to be chewing on is, is whether to buy into the big lie that this, this unadulterated uh, horse pucky um, biofuels 
is good for the planet or whether so far they say his record is pretty good on this and that he's bucking the trend of the United Nations and the Paris Climate Agreement and all that and uh, so far uh, let's hope he sticks with it is understands the corporate greenwashing bullshit being spewed uh, by the UN and the Paris Climate Agreement suggesting that burning down standing forests to uh, turn them into biofuels is going to save the planet. Uh, Current science says that carbon neutrality achieved from burning wood pellets would take 50 to 100 years to achieve time the world does not have to slash its emissions. Further, the process of burning the woody biomass is inefficient and in fact is dirtier than burning coal. And uh, so it's this this forest right around here, what you're seeing in front of you on this camera is, uh, you know, it's the southeastern U.S. that's really getting uh, attacked from this crap. Uh, okay. Gee, we have a village being held hostage by big coal in Indonesia. Yes, uh, we have two new coal-fired power plants uh, coming online, adding to the cluster of eight existing coal plants in the area. Yes, analysts question the logic of constructing the new plants where supply already exceeds demand. Hmm, do you think so? Alright, what is going on with Cargill Corporation? Certainly one of the biggest planet-eating corporations out there. Uh, Cargill and a, and a teacher's pension fund, <coughs> a teacher's pension fund linked to land grabs in Brazil's Cerrado. If you wonder what's happening to the snakes and lizards of the Cerrado, here's one thing. Global commodities giant Cargill continues to buy soybeans from a farm in Brazil that cultivates on illegally acquired and deforested land. Wow. Um, the farm supplying Cargill has been implicated in a $200 million dollar land grabbing scheme. Also implicated in the case is the U.S. Teachers Pension Fund, TIAA. What? Cargill, which has a zero deforestation commitment hmm, for its supply chain from the Cerrado, says it placed no restrictions on soybean purchases from the supplier. Yeah, sounds like a zero deforestation commitment to me. All right, what is going on with the newest bio, you know, th these UN biodiversity targets, uh, which every single one of them has failed. So, uh, the Aichi UN's, the UN's Aichi biodiversity targets are an ambitious set of global goals aimed at protecting and conserving global biodiversity. And, and so I'm going to teach you how to read the word ambitious. It is futile, uh, an absolute joke, hopeless, corporate greenwashing, UN greenwashing crap. Every single one of these targets will never be bit, be met. Everybody knows this. Uh, anyway, 
Enough of this crap, these biodiversity targets, the United Nations saving the planet is about as knee-slapping as Joe Biden saving the Amazon rainforest. All right. Let's see. And uh, guys, I'm skipping over a lot of these. It is a full plate here at Manga Bay this week. I've already mentioned this one. This is Manga Bay's new spin on a new study warns that sea levels will rise faster than expected. Yes, a new study has found that sea level rise may happen faster than current models project. The IPCC projects that sea levels will rise about a meter by the century's end, but this new study finds that estimate to be conservative. Yes, they're adding another 10 inches uh, to the IPCC. Uh, all right, you will not believe this headline out of Indonesia. Legal failings leave illegal loggers unpunished and still certified in Indonesia. Illegal loggers in Indonesia continue to go largely unpunished because of a weak judicial system and loopholes in timber regulations, according to an, a new report uh, which looked at 50 companies, most of them found to be trading in illegally logged merbau, a prize tropical hardwood, but evading prosecutions. The few companies and individuals prosecuted and found guilty in court were still allowed to operate and even retain their certificates of timber legality, a stamp of approval that allows them to export the illegally logged wood. In one case, Indonesia's highest court overturned a lower court's judgment against a convicted timber trafficker, ordering the authorities to give him back the stockpile of illegal timber they had seized from him. <sighs> Good Lord. Over to Madagascar. Mob killing of... <clears throat> one of these uh, in, in forest rangers, spotlights risks faced by forest guardians. A law enforcement officer was fatally wounded and two civilians killed on January 20th when a mob accosted him and three others as they tried to apprehend suspected illegal loggers in a village in northeastern Madagascar. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, another one. Three more dead by mob violence. This is what happens, uh, you know, one of the most no-brainer predictions for 2021. Okay. Wow. Do you believe that we have some greenwashing still going on around Brazil's Belo Monte Dam? Yes. The company responsible for Brazil's Belo Monte Dam claimed in a letter to the New York Times that the company respects indigenous peoples, the environment, and international conventions. Hmm. But the Aurora indigenous people contest the company's claims and call attention to a series of broken promises. The Belo Monte Dam is notorious for having violated international conventions and even Brazilian laws regarding consultation of indigenous peoples and for its massive environmental and social impacts. Yes, uh, do you think so? Anyway, guys, I'm just... Uh, 
Alright, we have another deforestation commitment. Uh, <coughs> this one coming out of the European farmed salmon sector to use only deforestation-free Brazilian soy. And so, uh, you, 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 you got to love this, guys. When you, when you really read what it's saying here, okay, three Brazilian salmon feed supply growers will produce and harvest only deforestation free soybean supply chain products. Yes, do you think so? Okay. Under the international agreement, no soybean crops produced on land converted, meaning bulldozed, burned, and obliterated off the face of the planet after August of 2020 will be allowed into supply chains. Yes. Uh, so there you go. So as long as you, you, you know, you bulldozed, chainsawed, and burned down your 10,000 acres of Brazilian rainforest before August 31st, 2020, uh, you are now being officially labeled deforestation-free, sustainable soy to feed your salmon. Uh, so there you go. Uh, deforestation-free. Uh, they, they can actually claim that, and you can get Rhett Butler and Manga Bay with no trace of irony to uh, applaud you. Okay, we've heard of boat strikes on whales, but now we have more and more boat strikes putting pressure on whale sharks' survival odds. A new study has found that whale sharks are frequently struck by tourist vessels inside the South Area Toll Marine Protected Area in the Maldives. Yes. Uh, the prevalence of boat strike injuries raises concerns with the ecotourism industry especially when regulations meant to protect whale sharks are not properly enforced. So we have clueless moron ecotourists running over whale sharks uh, with their boats. Uh, that's with marine protected areas. Let's look at some land-based protected areas. Current protected areas are not enough to save parrots from extinction. Nearly one-third of parrot species are now threatened with extinction, and a new study concludes that current protected areas are not sufficient to protect parrot diversity, overlapping with only 10% of the geographic range of all parrot species. Agriculture is the main threat to parrots and is especially relevant in the tropics where parrot species richness is highest. Uh, the fate of parrots is largely tied to the fate of forest, as 70% of parrots are forest dependent. There you go. Kiss goodbye to the parrots. Uh, okay, let's find out how the banksters behind it all, I guess, are the newest ones to save the planet. Seven financial firms key to rooting out deforestation. Yes. Uh... Anyway, uh, this is a report from Planet Tracker. Planet Tracker's analysis found that $9.3 billion from these ETFs is invested in a set of 26 companies 
engaged in the soybean trade and linked to deforestation. Uh, imagine that. Okay, let's go back to Madagascar. Uh, dusty winds exacerbate looming famine in Madagascar. At least 1.27 million people need humanitarian assistance in Madagascar's drought hit Deep South, according to a request by the UN. Yep. Uh, the area is experiencing dust and sandstorms, exacerbating the crisis by smothering crops, forests, buildings, and roads. The winds may be increasingly common as southern Madagascar undergoes a long-term drying trend. Do you think so? From Madagascar, as long as we're in sub-Saharan Africa, few more. How about Namibia to sell off its wild elephants in controversial auction? Namibia's Ministry of Environment, Forestry, and Tourism plans to finalize an auction of its wild elephants uh, on Friday, January 29th. The auction has been met with sharp criticism by conservationists who have questioned the population data and claims of human-elephant conflict that are being used to justify the sale. Um, the ministry has argued that the elephant auction is necessitated by a tripling in the country's elephant population to about 24,000 today. Conservationists dispute this data. Yes. All right, but don't worry. Africa's forests are saved through an ambitious return to carbon markets. Moving on. So how much of the Amazon was lost last year? The Amazon lost an area of primary forest larger than Israel in 2020. The Amazon Basin lost more than 2 million hectares, otherwise known as 5 million acres of primary forest cover in 2020. Uh, this number is higher than the area lost in 2019, and the authors say it too may be an underestimation. Brazil, wow, lost the most primary forest with Bolivia experiencing high levels of fire-related deforestation. Uh, Peru saw continuing deforestation in its midsection. There you go. We have more stories of Joe Biden saving the planet. Uh, and one more story about Joe Biden saving the planet. I I feel a uh, a new meme here at Manga Bay. How Joe Biden is going to save the planet. Let's all give a hand to Joe Biden for saving planet Earth. Thank you, Uncle Joe, for saving the planet. Uh, anyway, I have got to wrap up this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant. If you appreciate what Rhett Butler does with his life and uh, what I do with mine, please give this video a thumbs up and show Rhett some love. Not that Rhett Butler has ever listened to one of these rants, because he does not know they exist, for all I know. And uh, I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy what's left of this collapsing planet while you still can. Bye, guys.